Hey y'all, it's Megan again here on the Lawson Farm. Hope y'all are doing good. It's a beautiful day here in North Carolina. It's good and hot. Hoping for some rain here in a little while. I am walking out here to my garden uh, to pick me some collard greens. So that's what today's video is going to be about. I'm just going to show y'all how I fix my collards. Um, we're going to cook them about to death just because these are spring summer collards so they're gonna be a little bitter if we don't cook them real good maybe add a little sugar um but yeah we'll walk over here and pick these things look at these big beautiful collard greens i'm just gonna fix a small mess because i'm the only one that eats them but yeah now as i'm on my way back to the house um so of course most people know you usually plant your salad and your greens your collards and stuff in the fall but you can plant them early spring and harvest them about now um the only thing is like i said just a minute ago these will be a little bitter um greens are the absolute best after the frost bites them so always keep that in mind and they last through most of the winter so the first thing you want to do after you get your collards out of the garden if you're getting them out of your garden is just rinse them off with a little cold water uh, so I've already done that. Look how big these are, which of course you see these holes That's one thing about planting them when it's warm outside. They're bugs um, We don't really spray anything for bugs. So that's why I wanted another reason I want to go ahead and get these Done before the bugs eat them up. So I've got them rinsed off Now you're not gonna want to eat that big stalk right there So we're just this is what I do and we're gonna put them down in this pot And those stalks will go to my chickens but the rest of these these are pretty flimsy depending on how picky you are you don't have to get those out I don't care to y'all know I ain't got time to do all that so I just want that one big one for the most part out of there and I will chop these up more after they're cooking and like on my plate I'll usually cut them up then but for now they're just going to all go in my pot. Never had collard greens. You don't know what you're missing. They're absolutely delicious. So I've got them laid in my pot. We're just going to fill them up with water. I've got my greens completely covered in water plus some. I'm going to cut that up to about medium high. We're going to let this boil for at least an hour. Hey! <laughs> Alright. This is my home rendered lard from our hogs this past winter. If you don't have lard, use you a good piece of fat back. Because you got to season your greens now. You're talking about something good. It's real good. Put this lard in there. So I'm just going to do a couple spoonfuls of that. going to do a couple of little cloves of garlic here. I'm just going to drop them in there. And we're just going to let that cook. Let it go to town for about an hour. We're going to keep an eye on our water level just to make sure, you know, they haven't sucked up all the water. But we do want to, we want to cook them down real good. See if we can get some of that bitterness out. So yeah, I'm going to let those go to town. So while my collards are cooking, I'm out here just going around feeding everything. Um, check out my video on that. That was my last video I put out. But I want to show y'all something new that I got since that video. So we went to Tractor Supply the other night. Anybody that follows the farm on Facebook already knows what I'm going to tell you. But went to Tractor Supply. They had barred rock chicks. Dummy me asked them if they would discount it if I bought them all. And they said yes. So here I am with all my little chicks. Looky there. So now I'm the proud owner of 21 barred rock chicks. Everybody seems to be happy and healthy right now. Um, this is our little brooder house. We've already moved the meat chickens out. We cleaned it real good, put new wood chips in. And now it's these little fellas' homes. Uh, they're all supposed to be pullets. Usually with that many, I'll probably have one rooster at least, but Barred rocks are beautiful, so I don't mind if one of them's a rooster. But yeah, these are my new babies. All right, 
y'all. So I ended up letting these boil about an hour and a half. Uh, halfway through, I poured the water out that was in them because it got like real dark green. I don't want any of that bitterness to come through. So I poured that water out, put clean water in, and boiled them for another 45 minutes um, to equal an hour and a half all together. Now what you wanna do, um, get you a frying pan. Cast iron is my favorite, of course. Um, and we're gonna get that heated up. If you've lived in the South for any amount of time, you know that everybody saves their bacon grease, or at least most anybody. Um, so I always uh, filter and save my bacon grease for situations such as this. Now we're gonna put us a good spoonful in here. That's gonna season our greens deliciously. Yes, honey. Make your bacon grease not go rancid and last a lot longer. Just use you a, a fine strainer when you're pouring that grease into whatever container you're using. And um, yeah, it'll last. The cleaner the grease is, the longer it'll last. So we're going to get our pan good and greased up with that bacon grease. Now, I'm going to use my tongs. I'm gonna grab me a handful of leaves, kind of let some of that water run off of them. Now this is gonna pop a little bit because these are wet, so just be prepared for that. Yeah, that's 
how you do it. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned a little something. I uh, just want to remind you, you can purchase my cookbook on Amazon. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. Also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Those links will be in the description as well. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please consider it if you do like this kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'll talk to y'all next time. And just a little add-on to the end of this video. I just tried them, and they were good enough to make you want to smack your mama. Like, they're so good. Just don't smack your mama because around here your mama will smack you back across the room. But anyways, that's all.